A young scientist and a duck, just two of the, well, one individual and an animal featured in the latest Guinness Book of World Records. The 2021 edition also includes Nathan Yu. He's the youngest drone cartographer. He's 14 now, but he got the title at the age of 11. Accompanying Nathan, other record-breaking superstars from the U.S. include Jackson Oswalt, the youngest person to achieve nuclear fusion at 12 years old. Ben Afquack and his owner Derek Johnson hold the record for the most followers on Instagram for a duck with 79,467. Didn't know there was a category for it, following a duck. Macy Curran holds the record for the woman with the longest legs. Her left leg is 53 inches long. Her right leg is just over 52 inches long. The newest Guinness Book of World Records just hit the stores today. <coughs> Wow. That's tall. That is tall. <laughs> Absolutely. SA Live is getting geared up because it's almost time to eat lunch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. And speaking of lunch, okay, I know parents have to plan for that when they are at home, possibly homeschooling their kids. Uh, but we've got some problem solvers for parents that will help things go a little smoother. Yep. Hey, he began his career as a writer and animator on Sesame Street. We let our imagine, imagination run wild with beloved children's book author Mo Williams, and we got some doodle tips. And we all love the flavors that come with the fall season. And one of those flavors is toffee. And our Jen Tobias Trusky finds out just how tough toffee making can be. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's an art. Mm -hmm. And there's one of a kind decoration that you can affordably make yourself. Haley Giambalvo from Design Improvise helps us get crafty with our decor. And of course, they are favorite flavors that go together, peanut butter and jelly. And Jen is out at PB&J with Tay and is going to reveal their new PB&J sandwich, and whatever twist they've got on it. I've got a PB&J, mm -hmm. it's got a little marshmallow fluff and Ooh. a pumpkin. Hmm, do they go together? And with that in mind, what is your go-to comfort sandwich? Do you like just, you know, ham and cheese, PB&J, something unusual on your sandwich, maybe hot Cheetos? <laughs> Tell us at SA Live, KSAT, and Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer a little bit later on in the show. SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather, streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now, temperatures at 83 will be up around 90 today, 90 tomorrow. A little cooler maybe Thursday and Friday with some added cloud cover with Hurricane Delta moving off to our east. But all we'll see from it is maybe a shower to east of San Antonio. And then behind it, some hot temperatures, some dry weather over the weekend. Guys. Thank you so much, Justin. Your comfort food favorite? Oh, I, oh, wow. For me, it's I, I love a bowl of tomato basil soup. Oh, yeah, I don't know what the kind. It's just like I have so many. He just likes food. Just bring it on. Yeah. I do know they have PB and J's, so that might stick. That'll be my comfort food today. Okay. PB and J. How about that? Did you steal it yet? Not yet, but I'm looking at it. It it's might be pretty. Got cool. a little marshmallow fluff in it. We might have some now. Does that say live starts right now? Yoni needs comfort food after she saw that seven day forecast. Hey, today on SA Live, the sweet taste of fall, a local shop makes us handmade small batch gourmet candy that has a special secret in its recipe. Move over lattes. There is a new pumpkin spice delight in town and it's calling our names. It's probably not the food you're thinking of. And we make life a little easier. Don't let school stress get you down. We have simple solutions that will make the fall semester feel like an easy A. And it's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios. This is SA Live. That just looks good. I'm hungry right now. Hello and happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And later in the show, we're going to be revealing and definitely sampling a new kind of sandwich that, as I'm told, tastes like fall. I'm glad she had the word sampling in mm -hmm. there. So do you have a favorite sandwich? It well, is yeah, hard to, what, what? We're talking comfort sandwich. Comfort sandwich. Yeah. A really, really good grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't roll on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and just plain old American cheese on mm -hmm, it, bread. But mm -hmm. I think my go-to comfort sandwich is a fried egg sandwich. Oh, that's little, good too. A little bit on yeah. white bread, a little bit of ketchup on there. I don't mm -hmm. eat ketchup on eggs, but on a fried egg sandwich, yes, you will. That's, that's how my mom used to make it. I think that's kind of the. See, 
Yeah, that goes. So for our question of the day, that's it. We want to know what is your go-to comfort sandwich? Do you like normal ham and cheese, PB&J, or something a little unusual on your sandwich like hot Cheetos? Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer a little later in the show. Did you know that there is a one-of-a-kind decoration that you can affordably make yourself and it is the statement piece of your entire house. Design Improvise drop by to show me how to make this. I can't wait to see this. Well, it seems like wreath making and decorating is so synonymous with fall. The weather helps out as well. And with all the fantastic ideas, Haley Giambalvo. Gosh, it's been too long since it we've has, seen it really you. Has. So glad to have you here. And okay, we are supposed to make something that looks like this. That's this absolutely is easy, gorgeous. But it makes such a big impact. So I picked this big wreath because when it comes to putting a wreath on your front door, I think the bigger the better. Mm -hmm. And big wreaths can be expensive, but this is a really inexpensive way to make a big statement wreath. And it's because it uses burlap ribbon, which mm -hmm. is um, something you can easily find at the craft store. It doesn't cost a ton. And a, a wire wreath form, which you have there, you can get those for just a couple dollars. Okay. And that's the base. This is a little smaller uh, base than I used here, but you get the idea. Right. Um, so so there's a simple technique for just weaving it through and, the and, wreath And as far as the flowers, just find whatever color yes. scheme you want. Yes. I mean, this is perfect. This will even trans uh, go into Thanksgiving too, right? Yes, I would love to. Yeah, I would okay. definitely keep that up through Thanksgiving. And that, the, where I love to get my flowers is the dollar store. So like the Dollar Tree has a great selection of flowers for a dollar a bunch. Okay. So all these flowers I got there. And um, so it makes it really inexpensive to make a whole wreath like that. All right, so we started off and you just did a simple little knot and knotted yep. this on knot here. Knot it to the outside right. ring there. Okay. And then you're going to pull it up between two of the rings uh, a few inches up kind of in a loop yep okay and, and then you're going to you kind of twist it at the base so just do a little twist just yes. like that and then you're going to run it, the the ribbon yep through up another the next loop. one and come and up twist and there's no measuring there's no yeah no no perfection needed they don't have to be the exact size or anything you just want to go through a different set of of the rings each time mm -hmm. and give it a good twist and as you work your way around it you're going to kind of bunch Oops. those together and they'll start to form kind of this all look the, of a All wreath. the loops. And there's no fastening, because I was wondering how you keep it from kind of coming apart, but you said you've never had one come apart, right? No, they, it, it just kind of all stays together once it's... So these yeah. would all oh, just, yeah. so you kind just of, like that, bunch together. If you kind of push them together a little bit, there you okay. go, yep. Um, that's right, and look how easy that was. You've already got, you know, a quarter of the wreath complete. So, so no glue to mess with, no nothing. So you can do this sitting on your lap if you want to yeah. be watching TV or anything and like yeah, that. Yeah, you can always multitask. That's a great okay. idea. But then when it comes to adding the flowers, you will want a little bit of hot glue just to glue oh. them on top. Okay. Yep, super Fantastic. simple. Pumpkins that go with wreaths. And oh yeah, so I, I have some fun fall pumpkins why here. Why not They're celebrate kind of what's going on colors. this fall and voting? Yes, they can do double duty, right? They can help get out the vote, get people excited about voting this fall. So this is a fun technique that uses removable vinyl, which is something that if you have like a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette, mm -hmm. you can cut out these letters, but you can also just use basic vinyl stickers from the craft store to spell out anything, obviously, but I, I chose to use vote. Um, and you just spray painted these with what? Just regular? Uh, regular uh, spray paint from the craft store. Okay. Um, so there's two ways you can do it. One is that you can put the stickers on a pumpkin. So this pumpkin was originally cream colored and I put the vote stickers on there and then I spray painted the whole thing pink mm -hmm. and then I peeled off uh, the stickers to reveal the white cream pumpkin underneath. So that's one technique. The other one that you're doing there, Mike, is to just peel the stickers or the vinyl um, and put them straight on the pumpkin. So this pumpkin was already this pretty teal color and I just use the bright pink vinyl on top. So uh, really simple way to to add some words to your pumpkins and I definitely encourage you trying some fun colors that maybe aren't the traditional falls oranges and um, and reds and things. So very good. That's some well, quick work you're doing there. Well, my E was crooked, but I made them upside down. That way you Bravo. don't have to keep them perfectly straight in line. So a little, little awesome. sneaky trick. Speaking of tricks on decorating and wreath making, you have a book too, right? I do. I have an e-book out on my website, Design and Provides. It's called Make a Year Wreaths, and it's my step-to-step, step-by-step guide of making a wreath for each uh, season of the year. And I picked my easiest, uh, kind of least expensive wreaths that you can make with just a handful of supplies. And it normally is $9.97, but I'm giving uh, every you want a 20% discount with the code SA Live. Oh, wonderful. So check that out. It's on my website, Design Improvise. Okay, and so simple, but so beautiful. And if you would like more information on 
where to find her website and the book and everything else, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So good to see you, Haley. Really Thank you, you very too. much. So what? simple. Wow, and I didn't so know. Beautiful. And yeah. I love that she found those flowers at the Dollar Tree for, yeah. you know, a bunch. So yeah, a bunch of flowers. A buck a dozen. Right. Oh. right, that's great. All right, well, we all love the flavors that come with the fall season, and one of those flavors is toffee. Yes, indeed. And our Jen Tobias Trusky mixes up a batch of the candy, and it takes a lot more work than you'd think. Take a look. It's the busiest time of the year for Double Side Toffee Company. They are located here in San Antonio, gourmet, homemade, and fresh. And we're gonna find out how to make it today. Take a look at that, definitely made with love. We are here now with the founder, Janessa Sullivan of Double Side Toffee, and it looks good, it smells good, and he said it started because everyone told you, friends, family, don't stop doing this, right? Right. <laughs> I've been making this recipe for over 10 years, and uh, really just for friends and family during the holidays, but everyone just absolutely loved it, said it was the best thing they had ever tasted, why am I not selling this? And I realized, okay, if I'm not doing this because I'm afraid that it would fail, um, then I'm not trusting in my abilities and in what God has gifted me to be able to do, and so that's kind of silly. And so I thought, I'm gonna try it out. And I started cooking out of my house, and the it started in the fall of 2017, and the response was overwhelming. I had a crazy amount of orders in those first three months, and that really made me take the plunge to go ahead and switch to a commercial kitchen and start an online store and ship all over the United States and then even get into some retail stores around town. Okay, I like the sound of that. Now let's uh, see the process, I'm excited. So this is how we make the toffee. Um, we basically just melt butter and sugar. Lots of sugar. So this, um, I do put a little bit of corn syrup and water to help just get the toffee to the right consistency. Everything is handmade, small batch, mm -hmm. by me. So I just keep a thermometer in because I have an exact temperature that I want it to be at. Um, and honestly, when it hits that temperature, you have about a 30 second window to get it, get the almonds in it and get it poured before it will start smoking and be, in my opinion, burnt. Very delicate process. So I got it to the ideal temperature and now I'm going to pour in the almonds. I take it off the heat, the almonds start to cool it down just a little bit and you'll notice that the texture starts to change as I blend it together and then I will go pour it. I do see that texture changing. It's not too hard like brittle and it's not chewy at all like caramel. So and then I spread it out so that it is the right thickness. Definitely smells like fall to me. <laughs> right? So this is the first coating of chocolate that we do. Um, the name is double sided toffee so we have double coating of chocolate on the toffee. Got it. But you'll pour half of that on here. Right in the middle. Right. And I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's probably good. Okay. And so now if you want to just start spreading it all to the edges. Yeah. And these are just raw whole almonds and you just grab some and kind of sprinkle over the top. Yeah, just to give a nice even coating. It is time. Let's see if she can do it. Break it down. All right. Hey, it's a perfect break already, so just keep going. Oh, yep. That one's thicker. That's all right. So then just kind of keep doing the same thing and okay. we just get it smaller and smaller. So really the final step is we always taste it to make sure that it tastes exactly what I want it to taste like before we sell it. So go I ahead and try a bite and see so what you think. Keep my distance here and uh, let's go for it. Look at it. All right. Oh no. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let me enjoy this. I'm sorry. This is so good. <laughs> I have to close my eyes. It's delicious. No, so good. Where can people find this again? Your website one more time? Yes, my website, doublesidetoffee.com, mm -hmm. and I have information for just buying online or shopping around San Antonio. Oh, well, now is a great time to pre order this as a gift for the holidays and Double Side Toffee Company is offering 10% off for SA Live viewers. Just use the discount code SA Live, all one word, when you check out. Excuse me for talking my mouthful. For more information on Double Side Toffee, 
Head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live. Where mm. Okay, we were saying, it, mm. first of all, it's not over. Sometimes some toffee can be almost a little strong flavored. This is very, very mild. And you were saying. Yeah, and it's, it's, it, it's easier to break yeah. and you don't need like a hammer with some, yeah. some toffee. Yeah, you feel like you're going to break your teeth right. and bite into it. Right. Mm, yeah, good stuff. Hey, later on in the show, Jen reveals a new pumpkin spice food never thought of. Your hint that comes between two slices of bread. And next on SA Live, we chat with Mo Williams about his new show. He is that beloved children's book author and, of course, uh, animator. So that got Mike doodling. We'll see what he comes up with in just a few minutes. He began his career as a writer and animator on Sesame Street, where he garnered six Emmy Awards, going on to create several animated projects for Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. His number one New York Times bestselling books have been recognized with many awards around the world. And now it's time to let your imagination run wild with beloved children's book author, Mo Willems. Hey there. Hi, hi, how are you? Good to be here. Well, over 60 children's books under your belt, so popular with children with iconic characters. Again, such a treat to talk to you as a parent. But tell us all about this first for you, the first live action special that is for kids, but also for adults, right? Oh, it's for adults. This is a grown up show. That's why we have celebrities. It's a big fancy performance with Anthony Anderson and Rachel Dratch and Tony Hale and a whole big cast of celebrities where we read my books, we perform, we uh, sing songs, we draw. And the idea is to get you the grownups to see your favorite celebrities being ridiculous so that you will get a shameectomy. <laughs> And I think that's something that a lot of folks need to remember is to just be silly at times, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's a form of connection. What I really am interested in is what do you do after the special? Do you read to your kids differently? Do you perform with them? Do you start drawing with them? I want to be the spark to you having a better sense of communication and connection in your family. What's it like for you to see your, you know, your books come to life? It's a little terrifying, frankly. Uh, I was so lucky to have such a talented cast and such a generous cast and to have such a talented crew and a generous crew that they accepted me as one of their own. So I just went up and I did it. Um, and the magic for me was looking out into the audience and seeing the kids really digging it. That was an incredible experience. Now you started in stand-up and sketch comedy. Did you know what you wanted to be as a kid? I knew I wanted to be funny and draw in some way. I loved Peanuts, the comic strip. When I was five years old, I wrote Charles Schultz a letter. It said, Dear Mr. Schultz, may I have your job when you're dead? Oh my goodness, that's so cool. And of course, you're an animator. Do you have any doodling tips for us big kids? Yes, well, the first thing is, there's no such thing as a wrong doodle. A doodle is an exploration. A doodle is the line telling you where it wants to go. So don't be embarrassed. Don't say, I don't know how to draw. In fact, get caught drawing. If your kid comes in the room and says, hey, I want a sandwich, say, not now, I'm drawing. And suddenly your kid will want to draw with you because then drawing is cool. I was going to say, I've got a pen and a paper here right now, and I have started doodling as you were talking. Right. And I just started with, I know you can't see it, but it's like a city, cityscape, right. you know? So there is no wrong way to doodle, right? Right. <laughs> you know, here's... There's no wrong way to doodle, and it's not just you expressing yourself, it's you discovering yourself. So my notebooks, my work notebooks, you can see me, let me just see. 90% of my work notebooks are just drawings, just doodles. Look at That's that! That's what I do. <laughs> oh, tell us when folks can catch the special. 
The special is running on HBO Max right now. Not only see the special, but 15 of my animated cartoons based on my books are also on HBO Max right now. Mo Willems, thank you so much for your time. Remember, the Storytime All-Stars present Don't Let the Pigeon Do Storytime is streaming on HBO Max right now. Thank you again, Mo. Still ahead, Jen takes a bite out of the ultimate fall flavor combination and reveals a new pumpkin spice sandwich. And also, give back to children's hospitals. Get bounce back deals at Circle K. How one of these can score you one of these. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, are you looking for ways to give back right now? Well, Circle K is making it easier than ever. They're giving incentives to people who give. Starting tomorrow, Circle K will be raising money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals, which serve more than 10 million kids each year across North America. And this year, they need your help more than ever. So here's how it works. You go to your neighborhood Circle K, you buy a $1 Children's Miracle Network balloon like this, okay, and you'll automatically get a bounce back coupon for a buy one, get one free Polar Pop like this one. And as the donations increase, so do the rewards. So if you get a $5 balloon, you'll get a bounce back coupon for a buy one, get one free 24 pack, I don't even think I can lift that up, of Circle K purified water, or you can just round up your purchase to the nearest whole, do whole dollar amount and help ease the coin shortage. Or just drop your donation into one of these canisters on the counter. The money goes to buy life-saving equipment, fund research and community programs, educational tools, and more. You can make a big difference to kids in hospitals here in San Antonio one dollar at a time. Again, Circle K will be raising money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals starting tomorrow. So drop in, donate, and get your bounce back coupons for buy one, get one freebies. For more information, visit CircleKTexas.com. And a big shout out to all the Circle K customers who have helped with this campaign for the past 17 years. You have helped raise more than $16 million for these hospitals, so way to go. All right, well, it was an exciting and emotional night on Dancing with the Stars last night as the top 13 became the top 12. But before we get into the results, we have to check in from last week. So you missed us last week due to Major League Baseball, but the dancing and our game continued. It was Disney week with the celebs and their par pro partners dancing to songs from Little Mermaid, Aladdin, and Mary Poppins. In the end, it was animal activist Carol Baskin from Tiger King and TV and film actress Anne Heche the bottom two. Now, in our SA Live Dancing with the Stars Fantasy Challenge, Mike had Aunt Heche uh, over there just in the bottom, and I had Carol Baskin. So we both finally had a chance to put some points on the board. About yes. Time. And in the end, the judges decided to save Anne Heche, so Carol Baskin was eliminated. I scored 14 points. <laughs> Yay for me. On to this week, the celebs were challenged to reflect on their past and people who had the biggest influence on their life. The top dancer of the night was Disney star Sky Jackson, scoring a 28 and dedicating her performance to her late friend and co-star, Cameron Boyce. There was also a little drama when host Tyra Banks announced one couple incorrectly in the bottom two and had to call back another couple to the bottom when they thought they were safe. Oh, no. Sounds like the, what was it, the Miss Universe? Yes. Project? Anyway, hey, this week Fiona guessed it would be TV host Nev Schulman. I stuck with actress Anne Heche <laughs> in the bottom, and it turned out to be Anne Heche again. And joining her was cheer coach Monica Aldama. Despite the fact that she had good scores from the judges and they said her chemistry with partner Val had improved, Monica was the celeb who thought she was safe until she was called back after the mistake from host Tyra Banks. Did you get all that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, in the end, Anne Heche was sent home, and that left Mike with 13 points on the boards. And now it stands 14 to 13. Ooh, I have a slight lead. Yes, okay. <laughs> Remember, each week we score one less point for getting it right. Okay. Oh, wait. So, Something like so that. you're in the lead. Hey, I don't just know. keep watching Dancing with the Stars and SA Live, and we'll see who wins both competitions, and we'll try and figure out the scoring here <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Hey, still ahead on the show, <laughs> school is hard enough this year. We want to help make it easier. So we are sharing tips on how to lighten the load for you and your kiddos this semester. And next, Jen is out at PB&J with Kay making one-of-a-kind sandwiches with a spice of fall in them. Have you guessed? Have you guessed? You'll find out in a few.
It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Don't worry, we won't start singing. <laughs> What she's <laughs> Jen is out there at PB and J with Tay, and she is about to reveal the new PB and J sandwich. Drumble, please. Hello, guys. Yes, it is pumpkin spice time. I mean, I've got my pumpkin spice outfit on, and I have Jeremiah Burns, the owner here of PJ and Tay, joining me now. And I mean, this place, talk about comfort food, right? Absolutely, yeah. T today we get to make something that's truly fall. The All about fall. Spice delight, yeah. I love it. It sounds amazing. We jumped on the bandwagon <laughs> with the pumpkin spice. I love it. So first of all, let's talk about how this business <clears throat> got started because it's almost coming up here on your year anniversary. October 30th will be our year anniversary, which we're super excited about. Um, it's been a fun year, a wild ride, so. So, and you left the corporate world to, to, to follow your dream here, <laughs> I which I love, yeah, by the absolutely. way. Yeah, absolutely. I worked for Methodist Hospital for 11 years. Big shout out to them. <laughs> um, and then I went to massage therapy for about two, two and a half years now, three years, and uh, decided to branch out and create something that uh, hasn't been done before and create San Antonio's first peanut butter and jelly shop. The first. The first one, only one in Texas. I love that concept. <laughs> yes, now you said your daughter is named that your 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 fiance is Taylor. Taylor and, and your daughter my daughter's is Taylin. Yeah. Taylin. So PB and J with Tay, it rhymed with their name. And what better place to come to work and every day remind that why you do it. So And while we've been here, a few people have, have already come in, Absolutely, you know. Some of them yeah, have seen yeah. the Elder Eats uh, yeah. segment that he did here. But let's talk about to um, the different, you have 12 different items on the menu. We have 12 signature sandwiches on our menu, or you can make that PB&J your way. Today we created, um, before we uh, got started, we created the Make My Tay, which is cream cheese bacon and your choice of jelly. All of our sandwiches come with a, uh, a side of chips, and uh, this is a, a fan favorite right here. And this so, is a classic. You can see right here, guys. I mean, this has cream cheese and bacon. Bacon, you said, is your go-to thing. Now, this one right Absolutely. here has almost everything in it. This is called the kitchen <laughs> sink. It was featured on Elder's Eats, and he did a number for us. He was a, It was super fun to work with him. Oh, my gosh. This has everything what but about? the kitchen sink. We're talking about Nutellas, bananas, walnuts, bacon. We used a strawberry jalapeno jelly on this, and it also has cream cheese. This comes as a double-decker with three... Uh, pieces of Texas toast. We put those hearty toppings on it, and then we grill them. All right. Well, that sounds amazing, David. I'm not surprised that he requested this <laughs> this huge thing here. But let's get started on our pumpkin spice now. So today we're going to be making the pumpkin spice. You'll take your peanut butter. You put it on your first piece of Texas toast. All right. That's I got the crunchy one here. Yeah. Then we'll use our walnuts. Mm -hmm. Goes right on top of that. I don't think I've ever made a peanut butter. It tastes them, like a, a pumpkin pie. It's fantastic. So get our uh, pumpkin spice jelly from Lone Star Pure. Shout out to Elizabeth June for making our jellies. Let's say that one more time. Pumpkin spice, spice delight. Ooh. Put that right over the walnuts. Let that all soak in. I need to get me some pumpkin spice jam. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to... Um, take our second piece of toast. Oh, you put it. You know. We like to do uh, peanut butter on both sides of the bread so the okay. jelly doesn't make it soggy, but you did all right. Don't okay. look don't at mine. Look it. at his, Ted. It's all good. <laughs> Just kidding. So we do peanut butter on both sides. Um, we make sure that the jelly is separated from the bread so it doesn't get too soggy. <laughs> the last step is we're going to take the marshmallow fluff, and that's the topper right here. Okay. The fluff And you're going to put a dab right in the middle. Okay. Again, his will be better than mine, though. <laughs> You don't have to worry about spreading the, <laughs> you don't have to worry about spreading the, uh, the marshmallow. It'll just melt right in when we grill right. our sandwiches. And this is why. <laughs> it is yeah. stacked to the hands. Okay. So I'm going to okay. throw mine on the grill. This so is cooking. We're going to grill ours up All right. while we delight in what you made here. <laughs> All right. You know what? Uh, they want me to probably taste it. So what should I do? Should I go with this one? Or? I think we should just wait till okay. mine gets done. Let me plate this for you. Really All right. Quick. Well, he's going to get this out. I know I have to get back to you guys, but uh, let's take this mask off and uh, I'll keep mine on just to be safe and uh, we put a side of yes. chips to all of our sandwiches for that sweet and saltiness so. got it all right guys he's handing me my sandwich what's what's y'all's favorite comfort food I know our social question today is that comfort sandwich so I'm gonna give this a try but you guys got to tell me oh, what yes. yours is while I take a bite I'll tell you what mine is it's bacon anything with bacon Especially with these sandwiches. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with anything uh -uh. with bacon, of course. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So. Yours was the fried egg sandwich. Fried egg, but a peanut butter and jelly, I mean, mm -hmm. that's I a good know. go to. It's, just a come, but yeah, especially this is. one that, that's got well, it's a marshmallow, right? Mm -hmm. Fluffy marshmallow in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hold on. And the hold pumpkin. On. Oh, my goodness. 
This is amazing. You're right. I do need that mason mm. jar of milk. Of milk. Guys, my, my sandwich, I have to say, my brother makes the best egg sandwich. And I'll put mustard on it with a fried egg and then Doritos and crunch that and eat. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. It's comforting. I know it may be weird to some, but I like it. Okay. Okay. And since you mentioned the egg, we do have the excellent PB and J with an over hard egg, crispy bacon, and strawberry jalapeno jelly. It's a great sandwich. Got oh. it. Jeremiah is saying they have a sandwich wow. here as well with an egg on it. So I think Mike's so anyway, eyes guys, just you bugged come out, out here of and his try head. This. I'm gonna keep eating. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Oh, All right. Wow. For more information on Phoebe and Jay with Tay, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link. All right. Hey, we don't want to forget to mention the Day of the Dead San Antonio will go on with a virtual river parade this year. The virtual river parade will be broadcast on October 30th from 8 to 10 p.m. So you can celebrate at home. It's all happening right here on KSAT 12. So don't miss it. Hey, still ahead. Fix your financial troubles, how you can get out of debt with debt redemption. And we have the cheat sheet for school this semester. We share the answers to making this school year a flyby course. That's next on SA Live. Back to school can be challenging enough, whether at home or back in the schoolhouse. So here to help days go a little smoother is lifestyle expert Carly DeRoji. Hey there. Good morning, how are you? All right, these different school routines and situations can have children and parents facing a whole new set of speed bumps, right? So absolutely. let's start with the already stressful school mornings. The first thing we encounter is just the craziness of the morning. And as moms, we are nagging our kids to do everything, especially brush their teeth. So we found this great solution in my home. It's called Bright Brush, and it is a toothbrush with integrated gaming. What's so great about that? Super fun for the kids. They're playing games like Rockstar Jam while they're brushing their teeth, but the games teach them how to brush correctly. Directly. As a parent, what I love is it has a parent indicator light on it that will tell me if my child has actually brushed their teeth correctly and for the right amount of time. So it really is a win-win. My girls are loving brushing their teeth and we've eliminated that argument at least about teeth brushing in the morning. We still have others for sure. <laughs> All right, now of course, when a lot of the kids head back to school, mask wearing is a part of it for most. Yeah, and this requires a little more thought than you would think. What we've realized is you need more than one mask and you need a system. So your child has a clean mask for school every day and can keep track of it. So the solution that I found is School Mask Pack. They've partnered with Crayola and they offer a pack of five masks that are color coded one for each day of the school week. So your child can tell they're wearing a different one every day. It comes with a chart where you can mark off as you wear it. It comes with a mesh bag for washing so my girls just put it right in the bag when they get home from school they're super comfortable and they're super adorable now of course for kids you know ipads and using them not necessarily new okay but now a days of course they're using them more and more especially with virtual learning thrown into the mix and a lot of parents might be a little concerned about that blue light and the eye strain what have you got for that yeah, as they should be, right? They are on their devices for almost eight hours a day now. So we really want to make sure that every child has a pair of glasses to protect their eyes. Blue light kids is the absolute best. Here's why I love it. They have a lifetime warranty. I don't know any other blue light blocking glasses company that has that. They've also partnered with schools. And so they will donate a pair of glasses to a child in need for every pair of glasses purchased. And they have this goal to get blue light blocking glasses in the hands of every child that needs them. Now for you know kids in Texas, especially in South Texas, okay, there are a lot of bugs flying around, a lot of mosquitoes, okay, so that itching and discomfort and maybe even some allergic reactions uh, can affect some kids. So what have you got for that? Learning is happening outside more now, right? So typically we kind of head indoors after the summer is over, but we are outside. It's the safest place to be, but those bug bites will make it not fun. So the bug bite thing, a mom invented product, it is a reusable suction tool that actually extracts the venom or the saliva from the bug bites to eliminate the itching and the allergic reaction. So totally natural, it's under $10, and it is the number one selling product for insect bites on Amazon. So I think that speaks volume. So a great non-toxic solution. We use this in my family. I have one in my kid's backpack. I keep one in my purse and we have one at home. That's how much we love it. It really does work. It's amazing. 
Carly. I have been taking notes and I'm going to save them. <laughs> so thank you so much. Where can folks go for more information? You can head to my website, hellocapitalm.com. I have coupon codes up to 35% off some of these products. All right, lifestyle expert Carly DeRoji, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. SA Live. Well, are you struggling with debt? Because if so, you are definitely not alone. About half of U.S. households carry credit card debt with really high interest rates, and it can take decades to pay them off. So debt specialist Jack Brandon from Debt Redemption is here to tell us how you can conquer it in just a few short years. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for being <laughs> here and, you know, helping out folks. So Who's a good candidate for debt redemption? Anybody that has uh, struggling with $10,000 mm -hmm. uh, or more, uh, though we typically handle debts that are 40, 60, 80, even 100 plus thousand dollars in credit card debt, personal loans. So if you've gotten yourself in a little bit of a pickle, okay, they can <laughs> yeah. call you. All right, yeah, so that's right. what's the difference between, you know, between this and traditional credit counseling? Traditional credit counseling uh, is fairly expensive. Uh, it takes quite a while. Most people fall off of traditional credit counseling. Um, over here we've got, uh, uh, with our program you can see the minimum payments, uh, at a, making the minimum payments is about $108,000, $109,000 over 30 years. Traditional credit counseling about $72,000 or more. With us it's under $50,000 that you originally borrowed. And, and, you know, looking at those numbers, I mean, it just it just makes sense, you know. <laughs> it's a big savings. It's, it's a, big a really savings big savings because a monthly payment on, you know, a bunch of different, you know, on your monthly debt on a bunch, you know, 10 credit cards with high interest rates. I mean, you're just going to feel like you're never quite digging yourself out because you're always paying it, just that interest, it's, it's right? It's a trap. It's yeah, a trap. You're, you're, you're just you're not stuck. chipping really away. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard you try, it seems that you just can't get out. And that's where we come in. Because this is a low monthly cost, right, plan? That's correct. Mm -hmm. It's uh, actually very low in comparison. So if you're making the minimum payments on $50,000 for the debt, you're looking at a payments of near $2,000 a month or more. Traditional credit counseling is still relatively high at about over 1000 With us, it's under $800. It uh, could be even less than that. Okay, and so your monthly cost is lower, but it won't take more time to pay off, right? Actually, less time. Okay, yeah, so quite a bit less. And, and we, we've got uh, something that shows that about how much time, you know, how much faster you can pay it off, you know, with, with debt redemption. Right, so you can see there again, $50,000 worth of debt. You're looking with your minimum payments, you're on the 25 years or longer plan, and that's assuming you never use the cards again, right. ever. With uh, traditional credit counseling, still uh, relatively long, six or seven years to get rid of your debt. Here, uh, four years could be less, Look maybe a bit longer. Four yeah. years and it's all paid off. And I got to tell you, it, it, it's got to feel good for folks to have you guys go, you know, kind of deal with the credit card companies rather than having to do it themselves. They can just kind of hide, it's, hide behind it's you. A, it's a lot less stress. We take right. that stress off of them and make it far easier uh, to get out of debt. All right. Uh -huh. And you're also state licensed? We are a state licensed uh, company. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau. We have an A-plus rating that we're very proud of and work hard to keep our clients happy. And uh, Make it as, as easy. This is a painful deal. So right. we help to get them out uh, right. quickly and easily. And you're local. local We're local. Company. We're yes. a local company. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, if you have between ten to $100,000 or more in credit card debt or personal loans, all you got to do is call 210-503-1099. That's 210-503-1099. The first 50 callers will get a free copy of the Debt Redemption Budgeting Guide. Again, that number's on your screen, 503-1099, or visit debtredemption.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, wondering what Halloween will look like this year? No more wondering. We're showing you how to turn your backyard or home into a full night of fun for the whole family. Plus, kids can't wait for the spooky holiday. How you can bring Halloween into the classroom with some fun and educational projects. That's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, what is your go-to comfort sandwich? And Valerie says, ham and turkey sandwich with Swiss cheese and mustard. Can't go wrong. Melt that Swiss cheese, yes. I like plain James ham and cheese, pineapple sauce, ice cool tea on a hot day. Oh, nice, Jacob. Linda says, Earth Burgers fishless sandwich. Mm, What's in Subway it? Subway classic, cold cuts, everything on it. Mm, mm, good, that's comfortable. And also, at home, ham and cheese with tomato soup. Yes. Grilled cheese, tomato soup. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong nope. with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Something comfortable. See you tomorrow.